Welcome to 4.3's Math Moment. Today, students learn how to solve various multiplication problems using a variety of methods. One of the methods they learned today was called place value sections. I'm going to model that for you now. One of the problems that we have is 37 times 68. We know 37 in extended notation is just 30 plus 7. We know 68 is really 60 plus 8. We're going to use this in the application of the problem over here when we do place value sections. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box, which is going to be kind of my organizer for this problem. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my box in half, and I'll write my very first number, expand it out, so I'm going to write 30 plus my 7 over here. So I just have my 30 and my 7 in the first part of my box. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my 68, or my 60 plus 8. I'm going to divide my box again, and I'm going to write 60 on the top, and then 8 on the bottom. Now I'm simply going to multiply these numbers into these boxes. So I have 60 times 30, which is 1,800. I have 7 times 60, which is 420. Using our zeros trick, we'll do that very quickly, like we talked about in lesson 4.1. Then I'm going to do 30 times 8, which is 240. And then I have 8 times 7, which is 56. Now, after I have all these numbers inside my box, I'm just going to add them up. So I'm going to very carefully write my numbers down, keeping them aligned. So when I add, I'm able to quickly add. And then I'm going to do the final step, which is adding all of these numbers together. So I've got <clears throat> my 5 plus my 4, which is 9, plus 2 more, which is 11. Then I've got 4 plus 8, which is 12, plus 2 more, which is 14, plus 1 more is 15. Carry my 1, and then I've got 1 plus 1, which is 2, for an answer of 2,516. Again, this is modeled using place value sections today. If your student is not feeling comfortable with this, watch the video a couple of times. Make the model with them, try out different numbers. It takes a little bit getting used to, but once you get used to putting those numbers in, it makes a lot of sense. All right, students also worked with some word problems today. This word problem says, Monica goes to school 22 days this month. I already heard a math word that I think I'm probably going to need. Each day after school, she practices her trumpet for 18 minutes. Okay, again, another math word. How many minutes did Monica practice this month? Okay. I'm going to reread one more time to make sure that I've got the appropriate information. Monica goes to school 22 days this month. Each day after school, she practices her trumpet for 18 minutes. How many minutes will Monica practice this month? Okay, I also heard another word, which is each. And I know each is a key word for multiplication. So I know that 22 days that Monica goes to school, she's going to practice 18 minutes after each of them. So that's going to tell me to multiply. I'm going to go ahead and erase this problem up here so I have a little bit of work room for this question over here. So I'm going to take 22 times 18. Now, you can do this with traditionally or place value sections. I'm going to go ahead and model place value sections again, just so students can get more familiar with seeing this example again. So I'm going to break these numbers apart, which is just taking 20 plus 2, and then I've got 10 plus 8. I'm going to apply this over here by using my box over here. I divide it in half, and I've got my 20 plus my 2, divide my box again, I've got my 8, or I've got my 10 and my 8. Now I simply just need to multiply through like I did in the last problem. So I've got 1 times 2, which is 2, I need to add two zeros for an answer of 200. I've got 10 times 2, which is 20. I've got 8 times 2, which is, or 8 times 20, excuse me, is 160. And then I've got 8 times 2, which is 16. Now I just need to add all of these numbers up to find my final answer. I have 200. I have 20. I have 160. And I have 16. Now something to bring up right here is really important is this smaller number is over here for the 20, and the 160 is larger. I went ahead and moved across to put my numbers in order. If your student wants to put them in numeric value with the largest one and moving down, that's fine too. Whichever they're the most com comfortable with, it's just really important to make sure that they line up those place values so when they're adding, they have the right answer in the end. 
So when I add these, I have 6, I have 9, and then I have 3. So my answer is 396. To finalize this answer, I need to go ahead and put a label on it, which is going to be minutes. So Monica would practice 396 minutes after school. If you have any questions about today's math lesson, see your math teacher.